Hi guys, Chris here and welcome to my unboxing of the Xiaomi Mi 5. Now this is the latest flagship model that uh, they've released. It only just recently came out and it's got a Snapdragon 820 in it. This particular model has the 2.15 gigahertz clock rate. Now the lower end one, which is the 32 gigabyte, has uh, the clock set at 1.8, so a little bit slower. Um, I was going to get the Prime version uh, or the Pro version, I think it's called, which has the 128 gigabytes of storage and the uh, the ceramic finish on it, which is black. But they don't have actually have that one yet. It's not in stock, so I settled for the white 64 gigabyte version. Now I used AliExpress for this one, and I paid a little more to to get hold of the phone a little bit quicker for the channel. And I just get this open and the box should be sealed up. I told them don't open it, don't install Google Play, don't do anything because I'm worried about some of the sellers that could put uh, bloatware on there or some sort of malware that I really do not need. Okay. Alright, get all of that out of the way. So they've given me just a free clear case, a tempered glass screen protector, stuff that don't really need. So the, the packaging, there's still got the wrap around it from the factory, which is really good to see. And there's a few specs outlined here. So the 2.15 gigahertz clock speed there on the Snapdragon 820. By the way, that's the same processor that the Samsung S7 has and the LG G5. USB Type C, 3000 milliamp hour battery, and it has a Mi UI 7, which is just a skin on top of Android there. Okay, that box was a little hard to shake open. I just did that off camera. All right. So here we go. And we have that fingerprint scanner there, the home button. And the microphone there. There's a loudspeaker, USB type C port, of course. And we have our power on button volume up and down. Now just get this removed here. So the back has a curved glass. It's very similar to the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S6. And here's the S7 right next to it. There's a bit of a curve there. And there's a little tiny sticker on the back of the 16 megapixel 4-axis OIS camera. Dual LED flash there. And we'll be checking this camera out because apparently um, it's supposed to be the best that Xiaomi have ever produced. And I really hope so because I find that the Redmi Note 3 camera I have, the 16 megapixel one in that, is quite disappointing in low light. So on the top here we do have an IR uh, blaster there, another secondary microphone, our 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack there, and here's our SIM card, SIM card slot, which I'll, it will open up in just a second. And just pull this off the front. It's just telling me the power on the buttons there, and it looks like it has almost zero bezels, but I think there's there's got to be a bezel still there. So I just put the mobile phone there for a second and have a look at what else is in the box. So we have just an instruction leaflet. Oh no, that's got our SIM tool there. The power adapter, which does support now quick charging 3, apparently. Watch, I will test that out, make sure. Let's just have a look and see what the uh, rating of this is. So it's, um, yes, 12 volts, one point. 5 amps, so there'll be quick charging 3 there. And it does also offer 2.5 amps, 5 volts, 9 volts, 2 amps. And then there is, of course, our USB Type C cable and the box there. And it looks to be nothing else. Okay, let's see if I can get this powered on now. But while that turns on, I'm just going to check the weight and the thickness of it. Hopefully there's some battery in there. Let's get my scales here. So have a look now at the weight of the Mi 5 
A 130 grams, not bad at all. It does feel very light in hand. And I'll also check the thickness. Now there is no camera bulge on this, so there's no thickest point. And we'll look and see that comes out to be about seven seven point two millimeters. Not bad. So overall the feel of the phone doesn't actually seem that bad. Good in hand, there's a bit of grip to it and the position of the power button and the volume rocker there I think is alright. Now it looks like it has literally no bezels, there's very line there but it's not sharp or anything like that but it's not using 2.5D rounded glass on the front of the screen and it doesn't actually look to be using it. Might be using it actually on the back edge here where the glass curves. But overall build wise it feels quite good and the 130 grams there makes it feel nice and light. Now the front of it we do have a fingerprint scanner there and we do have a 5 megapixel front facing camera. There's our earpiece, there's a proximity and ambient light sensor there. So I just turned this on before just to get to the start menu there, the setup menu, the first menu we get. So we either got Chinese or English. There will be probably a global ROM that will be coming out for this, but at the moment this is uh, just the straight version that comes out of the factory with whatever version. I think it's Mi 7.2 that's on here, the Mi UI. So I'm going to skip most of this um, because it's looking for my SIM card. I will check that in just a second. I don't want any of the, say the fingerprint print, how do we go with this? Have a look. Okay, we first need to put a pin in. What is this Chinese coming up there? So I'll use a uh, just a random pin number. Okay, place my finger on the fingerprint scanner. So it's just vibrating. I think I needed to do that about 10 times there. Okay, the default skin. So I'm ready to rock now, which is good. In just a second. Alright, so there we go. Now the screen, let's have a closer look at the screen. Uh, it uh, looks okay. You can see there are actually bezels on this. Even though they've got the black background here to make it look like it's bezel-less, there are definitely bezels there around, which is a little annoying. Uh, you can see just there, so it's about three millimeters of bezel there. I'll see if I can get a white screen. Perhaps if I go into the browser, there we go. You can just see there that it has these black blackboard around the outside, which is a little annoying. So probably look a lot better actually with the black version. You can see the browser too has all this uh, Chinese there as normal. So the launcher itself, you're either going to love it or you hate it. Uh, it doesn't have an app drawer, it's just all in one. So the widgets and your apps are all there. Now I'll move now and have a look at the settings. See if this is in fact running Android 6 or not. It is Android 6 which is good and we can see there the uh, version is MIUI 7.1.21 I'll have to check the system updates later on and we'll get that all updated. I see the color is shifting a little bit there when I move the screen around. And we'll have a look and see there's a few bloat apps on there that I don't want but hopefully I can uninstall most of these. Looks like I can which is good. I'll just quickly show you the SIM tray. So we have two nano SIMs and unfortunately no micro SD card support which really sucks. Now why they've done this I don't know but I think it's some marketing tactic. So if you want the more storage you're going to have to just upgrade and get the 128 gigabyte model. Annoying that they lose the micro SD card feature. So you just pop your SIM in like that, your nano SIM and you can do two nano SIMs so dual SIM support at least. Now the other thing I didn't, how haven't shown yet is uh, the RAM. So if I clear the RAM, 
we get uh, 1.6 gigabytes free. Now, just did it, wanted to do a quick comparison to my Redmi Note 3 Pro, which I've been using as my main phone there. You see side by side the difference, and then of course the thickness there. That's quite thick. And with the Galaxy S7 Edge, and they are side by side. The S6 Edge, of course, is taller. It has a larger screen. This is a 5 inch screen, which is 1080p, and this is a 1440p screen, which is 5.5 inches. I see them side by side there. Okay, so this is just a first hands on. I'm going to go through, set the phone up, get Play Store installed if I can on there, hopefully I can because it's not on there at the moment. You, If you buy this, you have to check with your seller that Play Store's on there because they'll go in and install it for you, but I didn't want them to do that as mentioned in the start of the video. I just wanted it straight out of the factory with the seal still on it and everything. So I'll set that up, run through um, and to to get, uh, Geekbench 3 and all the rest of the stuff that I normally do and we'll check out of course that camera. The camera Supposed to have a special 4 access OIS and hopefully it's going to be one of the better cameras around. I'll just quickly go into and also check to see what kind of options we have in here. We have picture quality, high with the default setting, uh, the camera frame standard 4x3, so not widescreen. And let's have a look at sharpness, saturation and what other settings we will have here the different modes with the cameras so we've got manual um, different ones there audio okay so it looks like you can take a photo with some audio there to record so here we have uh, we can change the um, ISO expose your focus with the manual settings and not really much there so I will check out the camera and I'll take some sample videos and get them uploaded soon and probably actually might do a bit of a comparison with the camera against the uh, Galaxy S7 Edge that I have just to compare them both and see how much of a difference there is there. Thanks for watching this video and do keep an eye out for later on the playlist for the Mi 5 because I will have more videos out shortly. Bye for now.